This recipe is the classic quiche Lorraine. I'm going to prove that real men can eat quiche. And we're going to use the Primo diced bacon style bits to do this little baby. Now it's time to make the pastry. Um, we're going to combine some flour, some butter, some salt, and then some egg. Um, you can knead this with your fingers. I prefer the burp burp method of uh, the food processor, well, so we'll do that way. Get the flour into the food processor. Get our butter. Now that's really, really cold butter. You want to make sure that everything's as cold as possible. Good pinch of salt. Get that on. Now we're just going to pulse that so it resembles breadcrumbs. Okay, it's looking good. We can add the egg. And again, we're just going to combine that. We don't want to overwork it. Okay, that's combined. Now as you can see, it's come together. It's forming little blobs. We're going to put this into a bowl and just knead it. I prefer doing it in a bowl because you don't get mess everywhere and it contains it, so it's my preferred way. Let's basically squeeze it together. You see it comes together really quickly. Let's get all the bits and pieces. You don't want to work it too much because short crust pastry, if you overwork it, it's not going to be nice and crumbly. Okay, it's come together really well. Now what we do, flatten that into a disc, wrap it in cling film and set it aside while we make the filling. Now it's time to roll out our pastry and get it into this tart tin. So just flour the bench. Press this out a little bit, get some flour on it. It's important to just keep flouring this liberally because it's a very wet pastry and you do not want it sticking. We need to roll this out just a little bit bigger than our pie tin. Now, tricky bit. Basically, the best way to get this onto a pie tin is to roll the pastry gently onto a floured rolling pin. We can lift that up. So this is the tricky bit. We've rolled the pastry onto here. We lay it down. And gently ease it over. Now the trick here is to just, you don't want the pastry breaking, so you, you lift it and push it down. If you get a little break, just push it together and just gently work your way around. So lifting, pushing it in, lift, lift, lift. We've got a bit of a broken bit here that's easy. Just patch that up. Push it in all the way around. Best way to clean it off is to just roll that over there. It comes off nice and clean. Okay, the next part of the process is to blind bake this. We need to prick the base of the pastry because we don't want it rising too much. We need to line it with some baking paper. Again, screw it up. Open it up and we just lay that into our tin. Now you can use many, many different things for blind baking. This is rock salt. 
you can use beans, you can use rice, you can buy special expensive baking beads, but rice salt's best. That needs to be just laid out evenly. And what this stops it doing is rising too much and being uneven. Okay, it's ready for the oven. We need to fry up our Primo bacon style pieces now, so a little bit of olive oil in a pan over medium heat. Just pop those in. We just want to get a little bit of colour on them and also get a bit of crunch because the egg base is soft, we want a little bit of texture change in there. Okay, these Primo bacon style bits are beautiful and crunchy. Just drain them on a little bit of paper towel. Oh yeah. To make our filling, pretty simple process. We'll add in three eggs. Four egg yolks. Some cream. And some nutmeg. Always get a whole nutmeg. Don't use the pre-grated stuff. Put that into taste. I like a fair bit. Just need to whisk that up. It's going to season this quite well. I like quite a lot black pepper in my quiche. That's a bit more manly. Just mix that through. And that is done. Now it's time to fill our blind baked casing. Now that was in the oven for about 25 minutes. 15 with the baking uh, paper in and then 10 minutes without. It's just crisp up nicely. So. Bit of filling. We've fried off some of the uh, the Primo bacon style pieces. I like to just put a few on the bottom first. I'll save a few for the top. And just carefully pour in our egg mixture. Baking bits just for good measure. Now we'll get that in the oven to bake. Okay, this baby's been in the oven for half an hour. Oh, yeah. That is looking rather good. There we go. There we go, Quiche Lorraine with the Primo Bacon Style Pieces.